Why does the death of a stranger hurt so much? This guy doesn't sound like a stranger at all. You knew him, spoke to him, thought kindly of him. And now he's gone forever because someone decided to kill him. It'd be weirder if you weren't sad. It's called empathy. It's one of our greatest traits as humans. I think it is in our system as human beings to be interested and care for our peers. He and his family belong to your social environment. We are programmed to care for each other, in order to survive in the group. I think what you are experiencing is totally normal and necessary for us as humans to be able to survive. I find it hard to advise you what to do, but wish you all the best. The way you described him is so positive and as if he was this ray of light, someone the world needs, filled with the good things about life and the world. A person like this can be a rarity and when they are gone, it's as if a piece of happiness and hope was taken from you. We as humans often look up to these types of people because they hold the qualities we wish we had or everyone had. Empathy, it can be a bee. You have strong empathy. It's a gift and a curse. I'd rather have it though. Some people care more deeply about things and people than others. That's just how we are. I will cry a million times over losing a fictional character in my favorite book whereas others won't even cry when a friend dies. We are all different, there's nothing wrong with any one of us. You're highly empathetic. It's not a universal trait. For me, it's the thought I will never ever see that person ever again. For example, if you guys aren't close, but travel, there's a chance you'll see each other again. But death is so final. It's done and over with. If you want to see them, you better hope there's another life. Early this year, a cop was shot and killed. He was my cousin. I didn't even know he was a cousin, or who he even was, until my mom told me how he died. I was grieving for someone who's essentially a stranger because I will never get to make that connection with him ever. I have a similar feeling thinking about the death of Christina Grimmy. I like her music, but other than that I was never a huge fan or something like that. But thinking about that someone killed her makes me so sad and angry, because she was young, she had dreams, a future, a loving family. It hurts me, it feels unfair. I think the main reason is simply empathy. This could have been me or someone I care about. And the person who died was someone. A someone others cared about. Perhaps it's the lesson he left you with and the idea you might have that you wish you could be more like he was. You can, of course. Dude sounds pretty special. So you aren't just mourning for yourself, it sounds like you are mourning for the outsized effect his continued existence could have had as well. Also, to echo a ton of other comments, empathy. Everyone and no one is a stranger. As long as you're empathetic, we're all related through our shared experiences as humans. And though we try to separate ourselves into patterns and order, they're all just pretend and for our own mind to make sense of ourselves. It's sad when one of our own dies, and especially so when they're killed by no fault of their own. It's unfair and hurts. It's like a family member, because in a way they are a distant relative. I'm sorry they were murdered. I'm sorry for your pain. I wonder if it isn't the guy himself, but what he represents for you. As an example, you say he strived to make everyone smile. Do you feel you are someone who does that? Do you feel it's unfair for someone who tries to benefit others to be murdered? In a way it can be the same when we hear about a child dying. Children represent potential and innocence. Even if we don't know them, it might hurt to consider that potential lost or innocence punished. Just a thought. My classmate in high school died in a freak car accident. She flipped off a bridge. It's jarring because you get used to seeing them around and suddenly they're gone. I think about her every time I pass that area on the freeway. Even though we never talked. I had a similar experience. I was recommended the youngest old cat lady's Instagram page two months after she died. 
It was incredible to see the comments of the people she'd affected. Even though I didn't know her, I cried and thought about her for days afterwards. Hey man, it's okay to miss school people. Empathy is it. No matter the relationship we have a kindred love for other humans. Depends on how old you are. When you get older and people start to die you begin to realize you won't live forever. You're an empathetic and highly sensitive soul. Treasure it and don't change. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.